So normally when I teach this course in person, I ask the teachers in the class to write out the directions for peanut butter and jelly and ask some of them to volunteer to give me their instructions. But of course, I didn't have anybody here doing that right now. So I grabbed Amber. Amber, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, I'm Amber. I'm a television student here at Rowan and I'm helping Dr. K create videos for her MOOC. So Amber um, was uh, commandeered at the last minute and I asked her to write some peanut butter and jelly instructions and um, I took her instructions I've actually looked at them ahead of time I'm cheating a little bit but that's because she wrote ones that were a little <laughs> bit too good so I messed them up a little bit and we're gonna show you how to uh, make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich okay so Amber what do we do all right first open the peanut butter jar okay so open the peanut butter jar is a great instruction um, first off, I don't necessarily know how to open the peanut butter jar. And even if I did, um, I always bring in a new jar of peanut butter to class because if you bring in a new jar of peanut butter to class, it's got the safety seal too and nobody ever remembers about the safety seal. But anyway, so let's pretend she said open the jar and by twisting the top and remove the safety seal. Okay, what's next? Grab the knife. Okay. Grab the knife, grabbing the knife, um, of course, whenever you grab a knife and nobody tells you how to do it, you grab it by the sharp part, okay? <laughs> um, put it in the peanut butter jar. Okay, so I'm not gonna open the peanut butter jar because we're not really supposed to have food in the studio at all, but um, if I put it in the peanut butter jar, of course, I would put the dull end in. What's next? Scoop some out. Okay, so she said scoop some out. I have no clue some of what, right? And even if she said scoop some peanut butter out, let's imagine I've got the knife stuck in the jar upside down now. If you really want to do it right, you reach your hand in and you scoop some peanut butter out. Got it. Grab a slice of bread. Okay, grab a slice of bread is a real problem because my bread's still inside of my wrapper, right? Um, if she'd said open the bread, um, Probably the best trick to do, um, and I'm not sure I'm gonna do it for the camera, is to rip the cover with your teeth. Um, and then once you've done that, if you're really clever, what you do is you buy the bread that's double wrapped, right? So this bread has an inner wrapping too. So you can't even get it out then. Um, eventually we grab a slice of bread, so now I'm holding a slice of bread, what's next? Spread peanut butter on it. Okay, so I've got peanut butter on my hand. I could use the peanut butter from my hand to spread on it. We don't know what it is. Maybe I'll spread the peanut butter on the plate. Um, and also we could um, just grab the peanut butter at that point and spread it on the bread. Okay, one more. Place it on the table. Place it on the table. All right, so of course we're going to put the peanut butter face down <laughs> on the table, right? I think, I think you get the basic idea here. The basic idea here is you need to be insanely careful about what your directions are if you're telling some random person from outer space how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So pick up the knife, grab this part of the knife, stick this in the peanut butter, and so on. So even with something as simple as making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, we can mess up if we don't have really specific instructions. The problem with your robot is that it's really gonna mess up unless we give it very careful instructions. So our goal when we write programs is gonna to be to write really careful instructions that tell the robot what to do one step at a time. 